right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the fitting takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. He's really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Single collar tie there, bleeding from the eyebrow area now. That shot cut him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. You can't take many of those, you better check. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, 
caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Look at the whip action that comes from the next week. Oh, collar tie. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all the coming strikes. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew we'd have to find the right opportunity and right time to win. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big kick. Back and forth we go. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. Level change, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Slips to avoid the right. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. Man, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He won't finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, a nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Connects now with the one two. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big body kick. Ooh, big shot land. Back and forth we go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big power shot there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Right on the button. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. We want you to keep your hands up, keep moving. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting cash. It's like he's hitting focus. Oh, no! huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And he oh, comes nice through with a big knee. And he connects.
next there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big combination. Both guys landing big shots. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And they separate. Oh, single collar tie here. Three minutes to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Big kick lands. Real sneaky body kick. Inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Nice. Come on, you got a minute left. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, come on. Nice right hand. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, huge block! And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Single collar tie now. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so here we go with our next round, DC. You are known for having one of the higher flight IQs in the game. And 
I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his targets, not headhunting. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left! Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach. And he put it to good use there. And they separate. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Good stick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Whoa! He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of the third round. Join the winner by knockout. Oh, oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.